My name is Devendra Siram. I'm an assistant professor here at the College of Pharmacy at URI. Prior to coming to URI, I was at UCLA, where I did a lot of research in medicinal plants and medicinal foods, in particular pomegranates, blueberries, cranberries, and so on. So my research is focused on evaluating what are the health beneficial compounds present in foods that you're gonna eat. So my research is focused on plants, and it's for a very simple reason. If you really think about it, 80% of the world's population are right now, according to the WHO, using plants as their source of medicines. Because plants are planted, they're rooted, they cannot get up and run away from a harmful UV radiation or from predators or from birds or from pests or whatever the case is. So plants have evolved mechanisms to protect themselves from different diseases and pathogens. Now it's, it's very simple to understand that if we eat plant foods, that we're gonna get some of those health benefits that the plants have inside their tissues. So having moved to URI, you know, about three years ago, I was fascinating uh, look, looking around for new challenges. And, you know, if you're in Northeast North America, you know, here, here in New England and also, of course, in, in Canada, in Quebec, what else can you work on but the maple tree? Trees are some of the oldest living creatures on Earth. In fact, the maple tree lives for 100 years. What has the maple tree done over time to protect itself? Well, the bark of the maple tree is like its skin. In the skin of the maple tree, it's, the, the plant has produced a lot of antioxidants, phenolics, which are some sort of plant chemicals, phytochemicals. Now what happens is that as you're tapping the maple tree, you're getting the sap, which can be regarded as the lifeblood of the maple tree. So these antioxidants that the plant has produced are getting into sap, and then since maple syrup, like you get from Quebec, it's a natural, natural product. It's a plant-derived natural sweetener. There are no, no additives added. During that concentration of the sap, these antioxidants are developing in great levels in maple syrup. Maple syrup has a cocktail of different phenolics found in different plant foods. So it has a little bit of compounds that you'll find in green tea. It has a little bit of compounds that you'll find in blueberries, a little bit of compounds that you'll find in whole wheat, all together in this one matrix. The ACS is the American Chemical Society. It's the world's largest scientific organization. It has over 163,000 members alone. A year ago in March in San Francisco, I was at the ACS meeting and I presented data that showed that uh, Quebec, uh, the maple syrup from Quebec, has over 40 different type of disease-fighting antioxidants. In the coming year, it's been a year since last March, this March, in Anaheim on March 30th, I'm actually organizing and I am presiding over a one-day symposium that's going to be targeting only natural sweeteners. In that symposium, there is going to be several papers that's going to be presented on maple syrup by an international group of researchers, not only from the USA, but also from Canada, from Japan, and so on. Now, these researchers are going to give you a lot of great, recent, exciting research that's, uh, that's happening with maple syrup in terms of the chemistry, unique chemistry of maple syrup, and also its physiological effects and potential uh, health benefits against certain type of chronic human diseases. So emerging research by several labs across the world has shown that inflammation is centrally linked to different types of diseases, not only cancer, Alzheimer's, diabetes, heart disease, and so on. Now the compounds in, in maple syrup from Quebec work through anti-inflammatory mechanisms. So if you think about it, by hitting inflammation, it's actually hitting different diseases downstream of inflammation. So the compounds in maple syrup, you know, as I said, you know, Apart from the sweetness, apart from the sucrose, these compounds in that uh, rich matrix of maple syrup are working through anti-inflammatory mechanisms to prevent and delay some of these diseases. I would like to say it's a real champion food and it, the message is very simple. People are gonna eat sweeteners, they're gonna to choose to eat sweeteners, but they should know that if they choose to eat a sweetener, that maple syrup is a natural product, it's plant-derived, and it contains natural 
phytochemicals or antioxidants which may potentially prevent and delay some diseases. <laughs>